Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, did you really think I was going to pressure can 50 turkeys? Come on. But listen, look, I found 50 turkeys. We're going to drive over to the Fairbanks Food Bank to deliver these turkeys. Let's see if we can catch Miss Ann. And let me tell you the story on how I found these turkeys because it was meant to be. So ladies and gentlemen, we are leaving Costco. We are on our way to the Fairbanks Community Food Bank. And Miss Ann knows that we are on our way. So this morning, after I dropped Little Miss Alaska Prepper off at school, I was like, you know what? Don't really like going to Walmart, but let me go ahead and stop at Walmart just to see if we have any turkeys there. If they have any turkeys there. And uh, because I had talked to Miss Ann, like I told you all, right before our live stream on Tuesday that I had, and she said, we really need turkeys because we can't really find turkeys. So I stopped at Walmart and ladies and gentlemen, I grab a cart and there were two bins full of turkeys. <laughs> so I asked the gentleman that was packing some ground beef on the shelves. This was at about 7.30 in the morning. I asked him, I said, is there a limit on turkeys? And he said, let me check. So he went and checked with his boss and he said, no, there's no limit. And I'm like, okay. So I started packing an entire car with turkeys. And I was able to fit 25 turkeys in one shopping cart. And uh, as I was putting my last turkey on there, a manager walks up to me, very nice lady. And she looked at me with that look. <laughs> and I said, um, the gentleman over there told me there's no limit. And and she said, yeah, there's no limit. But, and before she got her next word out, when she said, but, I said, it's for charity. I'm bringing all of this to the Fairbanks Food Bank. And, I, and, I, and she said, oh, I was like, so can I have 50 of them? Because I really want 50 of them. There's 25 right here. I said, I can go and check out and pay for these and put them in my truck and then I can come back for another 25. And she said, I'm not sure if you can have 50. I said, let me go check with my boss because we still do have a couple more pallets in the back room. So let me go check with my boss. And I said, well, I'm gonna go check out and you come and let me know uh, you know, while I'm checking out because it's gonna take a while for me to check out. And she said, okay. And as I was finishing up paying for the first batch, she came up to me and she said, you can have another 25. And I'm like, yes. So that's how I got the 25 turkeys, ladies and gentlemen, but that's not all. Let's go ahead and get over to the food bank. Let's go ahead and say hello to Mrs. Ann and then you can see everything that we got. Plus, on top of that, I had to order some stuff to pick up tomorrow and we'll get into that when we get there. I don't wanna get in an accident right now, so I'm gonna stop recording because the sun is right in my eyes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. I'm walking over towards the front office so that they can come and open one of the bays so that I can back it in. 50 families are going to be able to eat a Thanksgiving dinner that otherwise would not have been able to. So thank you very much for all of your support. And for those of you that are wondering, no, this video is not sponsored by anyone. All right, this is from the Alaska Prepper community. Why? Ladies and gentlemen, when good people do good things, good things happen. And that's a fact. Well, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. This is what we've got. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you everything we got as the gentleman over here unload this, but we have enough food here to feed 50 families a Thanksgiving dinner. Hey, look, oh. ladies and gentlemen, it's Miss Ann. How are you, Miss Ann? Look at that, how are you? It's good to see you. How you been? We didn't see you last time. Come on, hug like that, you can't be. I disappeared because I was hugging. <laughs> look That's at that, Miss Ann. And guess what? I ordered 50 pies. I'll be picking them up tomorrow and dropping them off. So they're gonna have them ready for me around 12:30. So I'll be I'll be back here tomorrow around 1 1:30 oh, with 50 pies. This is called the shopping pies. cart. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, what a beautiful sight. Isn't that awesome? I've been talking about these turkeys all morning to people. We are so excited. We just talked about the host lions. We are at their meeting and said, "Yes, uh, 50 turkeys." And the only thing I couldn't find was cream of mushroom soup. But do better next time. <laughs> you can't, it's beautiful. Can we all, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some turkeys and like get some like. Do what you have to do. I, I, I loaded all of this myself, so I'm going to go ahead and just watch you all do it. All right, I'll load it. 
So ladies and gentlemen, just so that you know, we've got 50 turkeys. I got enough of the uh, mashed potatoes for 10 servings per family. I got enough stove top stuffing for two boxes per family. I got enough green beans for each family to get two cans, two cans of corn, and for each family to get one pound of butter. Uh, I think that's all we got. Oh, we also got enough bags of fried onions for each family to get roughly a half a pound of the French's fried onions. Well, guys, want to grab a turkey? Come grab a turkey. <laughs> they have been so short this year that this is a only your turkeys. Turkey, turkey. turkey. Come on, come on, come on. Can I, can I, can I post this on YouTube? Yes, please. You're all right with that? Oh, that's gonna be so awesome. Okay. I trusted you in, I didn't trust the car. <laughs> Look at all those turkeys. <laughs> oh, beautiful thing. I am very sorry, vegans, for those vegans that are watching this. You've got potatoes, that counts. How do you think people would have felt if I would have come up with 50 uh, tofu turkeys? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they call them, tofu turkeys or faux turkeys or something like that? I think it's tofurkeys. Tofurkeys? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I hope that's enough butter. Do you guys usually give like one pound per family? One stick. One stick. Yeah, oh, and well, you got plenty. Yep, this yeah, I got uh that's forty eight pounds I think. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's, that's awesome. Yes. And the uh the onions, they didn't have like like small size. But I remember last time I got you a whole bunch of Ziploc bags. Oh, yeah? Do you need Ziploc bags? I can pick some up tomorrow when I get the pies. We love them. Okay, we I'll bring them. Yep, I'll get some Ziploc them. bags tomorrow. So, Miss Ann, the food is not enough. Uh, I, I think I remember the first time that, that I stopped by here on behalf of the Alaska Perfect Community and I said, wouldn't it be awesome if every year we can do a little more? So this year what I wanted to do was, is I've been very blessed I have an awesome community uh, on YouTube, on the Alaska Pepper channel, and it's because of my community that I'm able to do this. So that is the reason why I share it <clears throat> on YouTube, is so that they can see what they're a part of. And what I wanted to do this year is, is that uh, not only is the food going to someone that needs it important, but these people that are around me, uh, they're the unsung heroes that never get offended. And whenever someone's eating, they only think about the people that are behind the food, right? So this is a very small gesture, and I'm going to allow you to be the benefactor or, or custodian. custodian not every I'm hour. not very well at using <laughs> the custodian, and and this is uh, 20, and these are all of the receipts right here that go to these cards. These this is 20 gift cards, and each gift card holds 50 dollars, and uh, that's so that you can share with your with your employees, your Yay. your um, uh, volunteers. And uh, I just want to, that's just a big thank you, very little thank you really, for everything that they do. Uh, I mean, I'm sure that they pay for their own gasoline when they come down here. So that's just a small thing. Can I tell a story of why this is so incredible? Yeah, awesome. absolutely, yes. So this last year for 18, or always for 39 years, we've had amazing crew through here. But this last year during a pandemic, we have pretty much the same crew. When you can get paid more to stay home than to come here, they came here anyway. That's awesome. And then through thick and thin, through, you know, Connor over here who had one person in the warehouse, we usually have seven. They've come here with smiles. They come here just simply because they want to help this community. And I have to tell you, you're making me cry. Because Don't cry. You're making me cry. <laughs> it's, it's like, like when somebody starts crying, puking, right? everyone starts puking. <laughs> Yawning's better. <laughs> the opportunity to be able to say thank you to the crew from this community is really, really meaningful because they've come even when they didn't have to they've been here so thank you this is well ladies honor. and gentlemen i wanted to go ahead and tell you and miss ann texted me yesterday after our live stream uh, meaning yesterday meaning on tuesday's live stream that we had after our live stream one of our community members and you know who you are made a 100 dollar donation to the fairbanks community food bank, yeah. and uh, also followed it up by making a 100 dollar donation to their food bank because uh, i remember mentioning during that live stream that it's very important that we give to our communities that we live in. Because if we don't, then who will? So, remember what I say, reach one, teach one, and repeat. And of course, when good people do good things, good things happen. 
So, like I said, Ms. Ann, that is for you to disperse how you wish. These are all of the receipts. Okay. I have something else that I want to talk about right here. So, you and I were talking on the, on the phone <coughs> about, an, about one of the employees or volunteers here. I think it's an employee, right? That uh, may need a little extra help. And I'm not going to ask you to say who it is. And I'm not going to ask you to give it to anyone in particular. I will leave that up to you. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to show you this first. Well, first of all, for that employee, I have a gift card for $250. Right, so you can give that to that employee that we were talking about. <laughs> and then the last thing I want to show you is, is I wanted to make someone else's Thanksgiving super special. Like, not only turkey, but ladies and gentlemen, you know I love my ribeye, but a nice ribeye roast. A long, I'm only going to show the stuff that we can get, but, but there's a case of stovetop in here. There's a case of beans, case of corn, a bag of onions, a fancy uh, container of chocolate, hot chocolate, right? And a, a fancy container of uh, cranberry sauce, organic, organic. Uh -huh. oh. and a nice little uh, selection of cheeses, right? I was going to say same. And, and I wanted that to go to an employee, ladies and gentlemen, that that's always here, that has been volunteering here since she was 10 years old and is the leader of this organization. That's you. That's so this me. is yours. And you cannot give it to anyone else. <laughs> this belongs to you. I want you to add this to your Thanksgiving dinner and share with your family. And Rudy. this gift <laughs> card is for you as well, $250. And we love you. We love what you do and we love the you told me I was allowed to give to them. Yes, this <laughs> and that. And this is yours. and. I'll take your word for it, but Ms. Ann, I truly want you to have all of that that you deserve. You've been here since the beginning, and you need everyone here in order to give to those that need. And uh, this is really the least we can do. I just hope to God that next year we can double it. <laughs> you guys are superheroes. Thank you. Right. I'm mad at you. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. That's a really good ribeye. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm mad at you, but I will enjoy it very much. Yes, I hope, I hope that you and your family do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your support. This is what happens when uh, the Alaska Purple community gets together and reaches and teaches. And, of course, we're going to repeat this again next week because, Ms. Ann, for the entire next month, every week, we are going to do a donation to a different organization. And next week, it's going to be another food place. What's the name of that place that, that actually creates meals? Uh, the bread line? Yes, but don't tell them. They're next week. So how many pounds do we have all together? All together is 988 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, 988 pounds of some awesome turkey and Thanksgiving food. There you go. There's this hat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was awesome. I probably won't record this, but tomorrow I have to go back to Costco and pick up 50 pies to drop off. And Miss Ann's not going to be here tomorrow. She's got to be doing something with her son tomorrow in school. So again, I want to thank everyone. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that there's nothing wrong with giving, right? There's nothing wrong with giving, taking care of each other. Heck of a lot better than letting the government take care of you, isn't it? All right, so guess what? Next week around this same time, we're going to be doing something else, all right? So we're going to go ahead and pay it forward to another charitable organization that's here in Fairbanks, Alaska. Having said that, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for everything. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I'm out.